Hey there, it's Jill Davenport. I've got a quick recipe for you guys. It's a beach hair DIY. So it's kind of coming to the end of the summer, but that doesn't mean that we can't have beach hair. So I am going to show you how to do it at home. You can do it at the pool. You can do it uh, when you're going out and want to look like you just came home from the beach. Even if there's no beach near you, you can still do this and look like you've been to the beach. And people will be like, you just drove all the way from the beach? And you'll be like, no, beach hair. So, okay. So what you're going to need is uh, some sea salt from the sea. And also some, uh, some hair gel or a, a leave-in conditioner. Uh, I like, I'm using doTERRA's Healthy Hold Glaze. And then uh, some water. So uh, we'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> uh, and then um, some coconut oil. You can either use coconut oil that you have, like a, that you eat, like virgin coconut oil. Um, if you don't mind smelling like coconut oil, which is kind of nice, it kind of smells like the beach. Um, but then uh, I'm using, I'm gonna use fractionated coconut oil because it's gonna always stay um, liquid at any temperature and it doesn't have a smell to it, so I can make this smell like whatever I want it to. And then I'm gonna use some essential oils and I'm gonna use different ones for different hair types. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh, and a bottle, did I say that? I don't know, we need a bottle with a sprayer to uh, get this going into the hair. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do first is everything is one tablespoon. Okay, so I've already mixed the salt. So I did one tablespoon of salt in uh, one cup of water. So I used warm water to make sure that the salt all melted because um, salt takes a while to melt sometimes if it's not warm. And this is a coarse sea salt. It's just what I had around the house. And um, then we're gonna do um, one tablespoon of this um, Healthy Hold Glaze or gel of your choice or leave-in conditioner of your choice. So I'm gonna just do one tablespoon of that. I'm gonna put it in the same container because hopefully it's gonna pour really well into my bottle. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there. Great, put it in here just in case you forgot. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the fractionated coconut oil in here one tablespoon as well. So if it's warm out and you're using the virgin one, then it's gonna be easy to pour, but if you're making this in the winter time, because you want beach hair in the winter time, uh, or if it's like in the fall or sometime when it's cooler, uh, it's gonna be hard to get the coconut oil to mix. But the water is warm, so it will, it will melt once it get in, gets in there. But anyway, we're gonna avoid all of that and just use the fractionated coconut oil and I'm gonna pour that in there as well. Okay, there we go. Find a place to put this. You need a, hey, I'm back, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that down now. So that is everything, and then I'm gonna add some essential oils. So there's, um, depending on what kind of hair you have, like if you have an oily um, scalp, like I do, um, then you can do patchouli and lime are really good for, for that, for taking down the oil and lemongrass as well, those three. You can add all three or you can just add one or two. I typically do not like patchouli, but I do like patchouli and lime together. So um, I can do that one. And then another uh, one that's really nice is grapefruit. It smells really good, refreshing grapefruit. Um, if you have uh, dry hair, you can use rosemary, uh, you can use lavender, those are great. And rosemary is also good for if you have um, thinny hair. So it will help to stimulate those hair follicles and help with that. And um, bonus from my last video, rosemary is great for memory. So there you go. And then uh, lemon's a nice one too. Um, if you're gonna be, if you want to, if you're gonna be outside, be careful that you just spray it on your hair because uh, citrus oils can be photosensitive. So if you spray them on your skin and let them sit there uh, in the sun, then um, you might get burnt. 
Uh, same thing with citrus juice. Like if you spill lemon juice on your hand and you're sitting in the sun, it's, it, can, it can really burn you. So any citruses, you wanna be careful. But if you put it on your hair, it can actually bleach it. So if you wanna bleach your hair naturally, then you can put lemon, lemon oil. So I'm going to do grapefruit because it's delicious. So I'm just gonna put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops of grapefruit in there. Grapefruit's also a citrus, so you also wanna be careful in the sun with that. So there you go, it's all in here. And then I'm gonna pour it into my bottle. Let's see, yay. Okay, so you're just gonna pour it in. Make sure it all gets in. Sometimes the salt will be in the bottom. So just make sure that's all good. No salt in there, a little more oil. Okay, and that's it. There you go. You have beach hair in a bottle. Uh, this bottle's a little big for it, but I just buy a bunch of bottles and have them laying around for things that I wanna make. So there you go. It's all ready to go. I'm gonna just, it's on it yet. Here we go. And then you can just spray your hair and it's gonna be salty and messy and beachy. So there you go. There's your beach hairspray. Um, if you like this video, then please share it and um, comment below if you like. And also if you wanna see, uh, if you want to make sure that you see my videos, then just click up at the top, at your top right, and it says follow um, or get alerts for my live streams. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for any videos that you would like to see um, of, of me making something, or if you have any questions about essential oils or anything health related that maybe I could do a video on, then uh, please let me know because I'm always uh, trying to figure out new videos to make that people would want to watch. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.